you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm be going over what you need to be doing right now with your coins. So obviously, we're kind of like in a dead week due to the fact that the kickoff promo starts like Friday, and then we haven't had a promo since. I guess Mutt 10 initially started, like the last big thing we kind of had, which isn't that big because it is limited time. So like maybe 95% of the Mutt community can't even take part in that. Maybe even 98, only like the top 1% can even afford to get those cards. So all that really does is affect the market for others. That's about it. We do have that dropping, I believe on Fridays. So we have that and kick off on Friday. If they drop off, if they drop both, Friday's gonna really kick off the Madden season. But for the time being, we're kind of in a dead week, but there are some things. So, so I wanna make this video now so that when you see it after today, later on today, you can kind of help you because House Rules does come out today, I believe. I hope they don't skip it again two weeks in a row. It usually comes out on Tuesdays at 10.30 Eastern time, so it should be dropping in approximately an hour and 20 minutes from the time recording this. So I obviously have school today, so I gotta get this done now so you guys can see, but I'm gonna give you guys tips for potential rewards and house rules and how you should go about maximizing your coins off that, depending on what they drop. I'll give you guys a few scenarios, you'll see it afterwards and do with that as you will. But before we get into this video, guys, make sure to go down below. Hit the sub button, boys. We're really close to AK. Things have slowed down quite a bit since the first week of Madden, obviously, but hit the sub buttons. Get to AK subs as soon as we can. Comment down below if you guys are excited for the kickoff promo and comment down below predictions for house rule rewards. I have a few ideas, but obviously nothing set in stone yet. We have to obviously see. I mean, Madden usually doesn't really leak house rules until 10.30 when it actually comes out. There's really no leaks for that. And uh, li like the video. If you guys are new to the channel, you're loyal, you're a supporter, best way to show support. Like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Now let's get into this. So, House Rules does come out today at, I believe, 10.30. I haven't announced it, but they it has to be. They're not going to skip it two weeks in a row. It's a fan favorite mode. Everyone loves it. So typically, if you guys know what House Rules is, it is a faster paced game mode that's objective based, such as win, get 10 wins only get 200 yards first one to 200 yards wins overtime rules like it's objective based it's not like it's never really full games so you know it's quicker paced game mode and typically it's online and you get to play people for uh, rewards and it's typically a grand total of wins so 10 total wins for a free reward so week one obviously it was the free mud superstar it was the free base elite the free oh, i always forget the third one it was a free mud superstar a free base elite and a free uh, theme diamond. So that's the three. So the only thing I can see left is a free Nat Legend, which would be really awesome. Maybe, I can't be Montana, obviously. They wouldn't give us limited time cards. The only thing I see them doing right now, until kickoff comes out, it could be a free Nat Legend or a free another base elite of your choosing. In my opinion, base elite would kind of suck. But as advice with your coins, if they do drop base elites, base elites will go down quite a ton again. And to make it even worse, and to make it better, power up should come up. So if they drop base leads from different teams this time, like obviously last time you can only get you could get the top lead from any team uh, in the set. So some guys in there like Bobby Wagner weren't included. I believe I don't think DeAndre Hopkins was included. So maybe they include them this time. But if they do include them, Wagner's price will drop tremendously. But in turn, his power up should go up a bit because people get them for free. And like oh, I have them for free for the only power them up. So then his power up consequently goes back up. So you could also look out for that. So if you have any power ups, any base leads that do come out. Stay on the lookout to be selling those as soon as it comes out because once, obviously, like I said, the rewards drop. If it is base elites, their prices will go down. So if you have them, you might lose. But if you get them, their power up should come up because people are going to be powering them up. Only the top ones in the set, it's like the top options, obviously. Now, if it is a Nat Legend, you could get guys like Brian Dawkins, Sayers, unless it's just 90, like 90 over Legends only, Steve Young, Lawrence Taylor. There could be a lot of potential here. Could be a lot of potential. I think that's the only thing left, right? Unless they give us a free flashback. Eh, heavyweight veteran like if they give us a free veteran that's just stupid if they give us a free flashback and heavyweight like those aren't usable cards in my opinion that usable i much prefer like even no money spent guys i don't want to hear like those cards are usable you, yeah wouldn't you rather a legend like that's the only thing that seems like rewarding enough to still play like, if it's a free flashback i don't even know if i do it there's literally not one flashback that i could even use on my team maybe a rep but he'd be a fourth cornerback anyways but as far as coins go for right now Weekend League Rewards should be dropping, I believe, either today at 4, or today, maybe today at 2, or tomorrow at 2. I always forget because their schedule's been so messed up with the hurricane and everything. I don't really know what the set dates are, but that should be dropping, I believe, tomorrow at 2. And if it doesn't, then today at 2, but I think tomorrow. So stay on the lookout for that. Obviously, when Weekend League Rewards typically come out, monthly rewards kill the market. Weekly, Weekend League Rewards pretty much brings the market up because people get a ton of coins and they start buying players. So, I mean, sometimes a good time to sell will be Wednesday. And as far as buying players right now, let's go over to the block. I don't... It was a good time to buy this weekend, 
But at this point now, that's almost Wednesday. It's typically when the market's most dead. I'm obviously gonna check before I say anything that I'm gonna be wrong about, but let's see. No, I mean, they're still kind of down. You can still buy. I don't, I don't envision this market coming back up too much anytime soon. Especially weekly rewards are coming out and then kickoff drops. Like I feel like this market, like it's kind of like at a low point. It might even get lower when kickoff drops. Obviously, as far as with your coins, kickoff. I did get my kickoff predictions. I think maybe Wagner, Julio Jones, Jalen Ramsey, Travis Kelsey. Pretty good options for that. If they do go up again, remember, stay on top of your powers, by the way, guys. So this is another thing to be doing. All of you guys have a lot of powers invested, right? And people are like, oh, they haven't went up yet. Yeah, well, that's what they're an investment. Investments are meant to make you money the next day. I have tons. So Bobby Wagner's I bought for like eight, nine K. They're at 12K, so they already went up. So if you guys, if you guys are getting like nervous, like, oh, I need my coins, just sell them back. Well, you lose, you maybe lose a few K and if not like Bobby Wagner, you make coins, like just hold on to them. And if you don't, if you don't, if you're not very nervous, but think about it, if a Wagner gets a kickoff card, right? Let's say a 92 or 93 overall kickoff card, his price skyrockets like 35, 40K minimum, minimum. So then you get at least like 30K each from them on top of how many you have. Patrick Mahomes, I got him for five, six K. He's not going for 11. I already doubled my coins. He gets a new card at some point, goes for like 40K minimum. Same thing with Aaron Rodgers, got him for like two, three K. He's going for 7K, he goes up 30K minimum. So just stay on top of your investments. That's the, that's the one thing. People, I know what's gonna happen, right? I told you guys to invest in these. The new cards are gonna come out, you guys aren't gonna be able to sell them, you're gonna forget. And then a week later, you're gonna be like, oh, I made no coins on that. Yeah, well, you have to sell them the day of. Like when they announce on Twitter, like Aaron Rodgers, that's why it's so important to have Twitter. They announce Aaron Rodgers leak coming tomorrow. Go check Aaron Rodgers' price, because most likely he's going to be up in price. And then when he initially drops too, but typically the, the, the leak, because people are like, oh my God, Aaron Rodgers, I gotta buy his card in case I like it. So the initial leak is we need to do it. I got Saquon Barkley for 9K. He's 16K. And if a car comes out, it's gonna be well over 50K. And I already have mine powered up, so I could just sell that one, no issue. Now you guys also have to be on top of what's going on in general. Like today, Team of the Week comes out. We got a 90 overall Lamar Jackson. So that can mean one of like three things. So first things first, Lamar Jackson, the beast, you can get him. Now he might be highly overpriced because he's kind of like a Vic that's not limited time. Now this could lower Vic's price. I'm gonna check now. I did hear that Vic was down in price last night. I don't know how factual that actually is. Let's go check. Kurt Warner's obviously down a little bit. So Vic is at 1.8 million. I feel bad for the people who bought him for 3.5 million. He's now at 1.8 million and that is purely due to the fact that they they leaked the team of the week all Lamar Jackson. Now Lamar Jackson is actually faster, I believe, than this Michael Vick. So, that Lamar Jackson could cost like six, seven hundred k. I don't know. In my opinion, if it costs four hundred k, that'll probably be my new quarterback for the time being. He cannot get a skate artist though, because people were thinking that like that's the one thing that Vic has. Like skate artist is so important. Trust me, my Vic is fast. But without a skate artist, he's like a, a rock in the backfield. A skate artist is one of the best abilities in this game. You kind of need it. So, don't just go panic selling Michael Vic because of that. Like Vic's still gonna be better. Although Lamar Jackson will be more affordable, but without Escape Artist, that still makes Vic the superior card. And the reason he can't get it is because Escape Artist is a tier three ability, and unless you power up a card, you can't get a tier three ability. And there's no power up Lamar Jackson in the game. Now, could they drop a power up Lamar Jackson this week? I think it'd be likely that they drop it at some point, maybe when Series 2 starts, but by the time Series 2 starts and they drop that, was it worth paying all those coins? You might as well just wait at that point or stick with Power of Vic for now. Power of Vic is typically is kind of like a Lamar Jack, a baby Lamar Jackson you get for a lot cheaper and they both can't get abilities that you need anyways now could i be wrong could they allow tier three on him maybe but i doubt it because he doesn't have a power up and that would just be going against everything that this game has went for so far where you can't put tier three abilities and just power ups which is fair because if you could put tier three abilities on willis and vic and bo jackson powered up then why get the full ones with the abilities alone they're going to be almost the same it would kill the market i understand it would kill you these pockets too because you would just get their power wouldn't go for their cards but that's pretty much about it guys so remember stay looking out for those power-ups because th this coming those powers you've had them for a while right no upgrades the, the year just started aaron Rodgers will get a card soon mud heroes is coming soon kickoff is coming soon and think about it all the top base leads will be getting a card soon like deandre hopkins had a had a good week last week bobby wagner jalen ramsey guys like that aaron Rodgers. they're getting cards soon so and by soon, that could be within the month. But remember, that's going to be so worth it to make double your coins. And it doesn't cost much. Like, you know, you always have coins just sitting there. You can take 
a 20k worth of power up loss to gain back 100k in a few weeks trust me it's so worth it when they all start selling my coin count's gonna rack up real fast and it's gonna be a good day for my team's coin count considering how much i've invested in them but that is about it so stay on top of your power ups don't panic sell vic stay on twitter to stay up to date with team of the week vic i mean not team of the week, team of the week lamar jackson team of the week cards new content madden leaks for sell your power ups and to do that go down below to Poodle underscore YT on Twitter. Hit the link and go on Twitter. Join the Madden community. Get involved. Understand what's going on. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.